views and opinions expressed on this show are those of the authors and do not necessarily reflect the official policy or position of the Dow Academy. Any content provided by bloggers or authors are of their opinion and are not intended to malign any religion, ethnic group, club, organization, company, individual, or anyone or anything. The radio station you can't live without. This is your radio. This is Beauty Blackout, the show where we help you own your glow. Catch me Monday to Friday from 10 to 11 with me, Demi Max, as your host and my co-host, Steve. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Beauty Blackout, the show where we help you own your glow. I am your host, Demi Max, and I'm with my co-host, Slim D. Good morning, guys. I'm Slim. Yes. So today, so on the last episode, we were talking about mental health, Mm -hmm. right? We will be talking about self-reflection. Which is also good for your mental health. Yes. And uh, you, 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 I like what you did with your braces. I didn't see your braces. Thank you. That's where you were yesterday. Yeah, that's where I was. Um, I almost know. said that's where you were last night. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, was it painful? Uh-uh. It doesn't hurt? It, no, it does hurt, but it's not like unbearable pain. So. Oh, you're used to it? Yes. So, so like, what, what do you guys do? You, like, remove them and then put other ones? That's a stupid question. That's a stupid question. But, yes. Yes. They like change the the, the rubbers because as as time goes on, I guess they wear off. Oh, they don't take out the no, they the don't gate. Take out the whole thing. Oh, I thought for a moment you actually spent like a few seconds without your braces before they replaced no, them. They just yeah. tighten them and then they change the rubber. Don't you have a feel? Do <sighs> <You> what? <laughs> you know, wanting to rest or something. No, I think I'm used to them now. So you'd feel naked without them. Without them, them yeah. That's how I feel about my nose ring. Honestly speaking. <laughs> okay, so before we go any further, I would like to share this quote with you. It says, beauty is in the way you hold yourself. It's how you treat people, the way you love. It's self-acceptance. Beauty is in your soul. Right? Yes. yes, that was beautiful. Oh, thank you. <laughs> now, honestly, Spina, I felt and I'm that. I'm reading it from the internet, by the way. It's not me. That does not matter. Yes. No, but it's, it's so how beautiful. you take it. It's yes. how you take yes. it. Mm. So, how you hold yourself, like it, it's self acceptance. Mm-hmm. So, today, we'll be talking about self reflection. Do you want to, you know? Let me leave this one. Introduce us. Let me leave this saying, one. Okay. Yeah. I wanted to talk about self reflection yesterday. But uh, Miss Demi was not here. That's why you guys had to watch a repeat yesterday. We apologize. So, what is self reflection to you, Tim? Getting me without the reading. I feel like it's, I don't know if it's in the same line with self awareness or I would say it's self reflection, right? Reflecting or sitting back to see on the type of person you are or the progress you've made in something right mm. that's that's my own. it's not self-awareness okay. but self-awareness like you're able to realize your mistakes mm-hmm. as you're making them or when self-awareness but then the difference is with self-reflection you don't reflect you let yourself make those mistakes then you look back onto what you've done you are reflecting on what so when you're self-reflection is when you've already let yourself live Mm -hmm. like i'm i'm going to self-reflect on sunday and look at how i did this week that's what it is self-awareness happens all the time like okay no you know what i'm not gonna solve the situation like this i'm not gonna do it like this i'm not gonna do it like that so yeah self-reflection is oh i did this how am i gonna fix that you understand Yes, ma'am. So, self-reflection is the ability to witness and evaluate our own cognitive, emotional, and behavioral processes. In psychology, other terms used for this self-observation include reflective awareness and reflective consciousness, which originate from the work of William James. I don't know who 
damn jeans is. Don't what? know who them jeans is. You do? I don't either. But we can Google him. <laughs> Who's William James? William James. He is um an American philosopher. That's beautiful. Yes. Okay, so I would like to share with you guys 15 essential ways to practice self-reflection. Right? Mm. A. So, um, let's start with the first one. Let me skip all this. It's a long article. Forgive me. Okay, number one. Identify the important questions. Right? Think of some questions that you want to ask yourself routinely, daily, weekly, or monthly to use as an assessment for your self-reflection. Some examples are, what habits did I achieve this week? Like I said, what could I better improve on? How did I feel overall today? Let's, let's interact a little bit, right? This yeah. week, it's what, Thursday. Okay, mm-hmm. so far, tell me what you have, you know, what I have, mm. well, I have a bed. Have... <laughs> no, <laughs> what you have achieved? Let's say, did you have any goals set this week? Yes. Have you like achieved something? No, but I've set goals. Yeah. I've set goals this week, and I'm hoping to achieve those goals by the end. Of, by the end of the week, right? Yeah, and as time goes on. Okay. All right. Yeah. Have Fair you? Enough. Have you? Yes. Achieved anything this week? Yes, I have. You know what it is? Oh, you want me to tell you what it is? Your braces? No, it's not the braces. Oh, who's that? <laughs> oh, who's that? <laughs> it's the, the, the book I was reading. I, you know, the thing is, I, I, I consistently say I'm going to read a book, and then I end halfway. But I actually finished one. Mm-hmm. Mm. What type of books do you like? I like poetry. That's like the number one. Yeah. Self growth books. Mm-hmm. Okay. This is book that I'm looking for. I read it once. I fell in love with the same time, but I didn't get. I didn't. I, I didn't get her name. You know. Was I didn't get her name. Poetry? No, it was talking about a woman, like building yourself as a woman. You know, being a nice woman to people, being a good wife, being a good mother. I need that book. You can research. I mean, yeah, but like, I don't know the name of the book. The lady who I got the book from, we don't talk. So I don't, <laughs> I don't know how I'm gonna like text her and be like, oh, wow. remember that book you came with to my house? I need it. You know, <laughs> then I'll leave you alone. <laughs> so yeah. Okay. Yeah, but I, I'm looking. Sorry, I'm looking for that book. That one is very beautiful. Mm-hmm. Yes, okay. it made me realize that one day when we get married, there's nothing wrong with putting on makeup in the house. You know, you don't just have to go out with it. You know how like, um, nah, never mind. Have you ever like <laughs> please eat? No, yo, is there anywhere no. you can? Wait. But I would I would want to. My. Okay, continue with mm-hmm. your Yeah. Mm. Okay. So okay, maybe we should answer all these questions. What habits did I achieve this week? What habits did you achieve this week? I read a book. I finished habits. That's that's like reading is a habit. Habit, habit, habit. What habit? Oh, I know what. I started making my bed, y'all. Oh, no. I no, you know, you remember, I never used to make my bed. No, okay. I thought it was a waste of That's time. That's a habit. Yeah, yeah. I, I make my bed, bed this whole week. Mm. Okay? And then, yeah. What could I better improve on? Oh, me, it's waking up early. <sighs> you know, I can set my alarm five. I'm like, damn, but I need to rest. <laughs> and then I think I have more time, but I should. You wake go. up at what time do you wake up? At five. Wow. And that means you bust that moment or you no you're just up. I'm just up and then half five I go to bed. Oh, okay. I wake up at 
My official wake up is five o'clock, but I wake up at three. Why? To switch on the keys. It's winter. <laughs> you gotta sacrifice. You know what I'm saying? Maybe oh. painful to wake up at three o'clock and walk around the house cold just to go switch on the keys, but it pays off. Okay. But yesterday, mm. I woke up at three to switch off on the geezer. The electricity cut without me knowing. That means that at five, when I woke up again, the geezer hadn't been on the whole time because the electricity was gone. So I bet the cold water. Did you bar? So that's the painful thing that happened to me. Okay. <laughs> and hey, that's so awesome, the second thing, how did I feel? That means <laughs> self-love. I can't bath with cold water. I don't care that's what fine. anybody says. <laughs> okay. I'm not ashamed. Okay. I'm not going to say it the way it is, mm-hmm. but do your math. <laughs> um, how did I feel? Oh, okay. What could I better improve on? Uh, with me, it's consistency. Yeah. Yes. I feel like when you're starting off something, it's really hard to be consistent for some reason. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And another thing, to be honest, that I hate to admit, uh, what could I better improve on? I need to stop using my emotions. emotions? Yes, in everything. What? Yes, that's how we... I want to stop getting overexcited, sad. You want to get stop. What? I want what? to stop getting overexcited. Stop. It's not good. Overexcited? Yes, because... Like, let's say, let me give you a practical example. Mm. Um, let's say in the morning, you're overexcited to like, yeah, let's say we're overexcited to do the show. You know, yeah, we're overexcited. And then the power cuts. <laughs> you know, so I'm trying to like keep my, myself. Oh, new, new, what is it? Is it nutrient? It's neutral. Yeah, neutral. Did I say nutrient? <laughs> <laughs> neutral. <laughs> yeah. Neutral. I'm trying to keep myself neutral, you know, mm-hmm. so that even when the power cuts, you just go like, oh, okay, so let's wait for that, you know. So yeah, it's not it's not good to be overexcited. Trust me. Yeah, it's beautiful. The idea of being happy is okay or whatever, but it's dangerous. Okay. You understand? So that's what I want to improve improve on because I tend to get overexcited sometimes. Um, how did I feel overall today? Still 10 15. It's still 10 15. You can answer that question at 10 15 p.m. Okay, number two is to meditate. You don't have to be perfect with this, it'll be uncomfortable at first. Yeah, but just sit in silence for as long as you can and see how your mind wanders. What are you thinking about? Take note of that and try to focus on your breathing. You meditate? Sometimes. That's yeah, good. Sometimes. But I do like five minutes, not like ten. And that's another thing that we'll talk about. Okay, I will talk okay. about it. Okay, number three is to journal. Whew. Sure. This always comes my way. Wait. Writing in a journal like a diary is a great way to get your thoughts and your feelings out. It's also a great tool to look back on to see any patterns in your habits and thoughts. And for us who don't like writing, I don't know. No, I don't yeah, like writing. No, I'm not like, but you can. Do you like texting? Yeah, I like texting. Yeah, you could put it in your notes. You could. Then you know, where do you, you get could, the energy to write every day, though? I, your I news, know. you write. I, I, I don't do that. I I do it like uh, when I feel like it. You know, like in the morning when I'm like. When yeah, I'm researching for when I'm researching for for <gasps> sorry, yeah, I have hiccups. For whatever show we need to do, mm-hmm. I'll be researching, right? And I'll try and write it in my notebook. I write like one line, be like, you know what? I'm just gonna use my phone. phone. <laughs> like I can't I, I, I don't like writing Honestly. at all. I can't. And I don't know what so I'm gonna do. Long. So when we get to school, your brother's in university right uh is it possible to like not write at all and just do like all your assignments on computers and all your tests and everything it depends on the subject you know i'm saying that you can't not write math you know will i be doing math 
No, I won't be doing that. It is. It's a, it's a practical subject. There yeah. are certain subjects that you cannot write. Like, if you, there's essays and stuff that you have an advantage for now, you can type. Yeah, yeah. So, so you mean I can go my whole five years without touching the pen? Yeah, depending on what subject it is. But if it's practical, it has to be practical. You know, I gotta practice. Pen, yeah. So yes, I, I do not like to write. So I'm sure that people who are like me don't like to write. I'm sure we can journal with our phones. I need to. But I feel like it's more, you know, it gives you that thing when you actually write physically rather than digitally. If that's a thing. <laughs> So yes, we're gonna use our phones. <laughs> okay. Um, do a <sighs> do, do a what? Do a writing exercise. <laughs> it's always coming back to me. Does your mind feel jumbled with thoughts and decisions? Simply set a timer for five to ten minutes and write everything, everything that comes to mind. Notice any patterns? What thoughts are important and which are fleeting? Writing exercises are great to get your thoughts out on paper or computer. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> to organize them better. You can personally reflect on them whenever you want. Right? Take a walk in nature. Yeah, that was that was true. Being out in nature is shown to improve your mood. Get some fresh air and clean your head. Personal re reflection is best in a calm and healthy environment. Talk to yourself out loud. Yeesh. In the country yeah. we live in, people think we're crazy. Okay. Does this mean my red? If you see me talking alone, leave me alone. I'm having a staff meeting. <laughs> that is so true. That is so true. I'm having a staff meeting. Find it and send it to me. <laughs> Sometimes hearing yourself talk out loud can be a great way to have realizations. Having a conversation with yourself allows you to get your thoughts out and self-reflect. Perform breathing exercises. From simple to complex, breathing exercises allow you to steady your heart rate and calm down. This brings your mood to a calmer place to think more clearly. Number eight, read. Read. Okay, you don't have to read self improvement books alone, then. <laughs> some of my, some of uh, some best self actualizations have come from reading fiction novels. You get a realization of what you enjoy and what you don't. So reading is truly a form of meditation. There's something on my mind. I need to get out. Are you the only one that got like a change of races or like the whole family? My brother changes. <laughs> oh, so you, get, you guys set an appointment for yes. like everybody. Okay, cool. <laughs> Number nine, analyze a past event. Pick an event that you have certain feelings about. Take a few moments to analyze that particular event. Why do you feel the way you do about that event? What did you do well? This particular event, what could you approve, improve upon in the future? Number 10, assess what you are grateful for. Taking the time at the, day, at the end of the day to think about what you're grateful for can improve your mood and your way of thinking. Try, not, try to think of just three things that you are grateful for at the end of the day. Take some personal time to reflect on them. Okay. Number 11, <laughs> try a yoga class. I've tried this. Was it relaxing? Yeah, it was, honestly. What? It was? It was. <laughs> it was. I kept trying. I would keep trying. trying. To do what? Like, I, I would, like, do yoga. Then I'll stop. And then two months later, I have to see someone the nice part. I'll be like, try it again. But that's like a form of meditation. <laughs> yeah, it is. Yeah. It is. There are different types of yoga, though. There's yoga for meditation, yoga for losing weight. Mental wellness. Yeah, there is yoga for losing weight. What? Okay. She's gonna, she gonna try it out. I know that. <laughs> Who me? Yeah, you I, wait, do I need to lose weight? No, I'm not saying that I'm just looking at the way you're like oh, reacting God. to what I said. <laughs> no, I'm just surprised. Wow. 
try it if you want. <laughs> okay. Being in a calm and relaxing environment like you are when you're in yoga has many benefits. Some benefits include improve, improved flex. Yeah, there's yoga for flexibility and better breathing. It was there too. At this time, you may find yourself meditating and sitting through thoughts. This article has a spelling error. <laughs> Finally, I found something wrong on the internet. The perfect time for some self-reflection. Number 12 track your feelings grab a journal or an app and track your feelings each day do you notice any trends in your moods often your seeing tracker, yep. mm-hmm, often seeing why you, re- you tra- wow you distracted me that was a good distraction i need to get that often seeing why you react to a, cert- a certain stigma brings a sense of peace a realization for why you do what you do perform a self-checkup You don't have to visit the doctor's office for this one. Simply sit down with yourself and assess different areas of your life. Career, love life, education, hobbies, family, fitness, etc. and etc. Set specific goals. After performing the self-reflection actions above, setting specific goals to achieve can greatly improve your progress. And number 15 is to try counseling. I yeah. Therapy. Yes. Seeing a counselor or a therapist can be a great way to talk about yourself in a professional, non-judgmental setting. I don't wow. know if that's a, stu- a stupid question, but I'm just asking. I, I think um, uh, Mr. Frigg's wife is a therapist. But like, where do is that? Is that like an organization? Or is it, is yeah, it? there is. Oh, I don't in Khaburoni. How often do you go to Gabs? Yeah. Why, are you, why are you doing that? I know you want to. Well, don't worry. I did? Yeah, yeah I don't remember. Did I ask you? you I asked Amanda. I remember. I didn't ask you. You asked question. me. No, I didn't. Yeah. Maybe I was asking her and you answered. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I, no, I don't go quite often. It's okay. Yeah, that's, it's fine. I mean, the why you mad? <laughs> <laughs> okay. I go to games every day. Because you live there. Uh, <laughs> how, how often do you go to Rasa's? Well, Rasa says Rasa, okay. Oh, wow, she's fine. Let's go for <laughs> a musical break. And we're going to have a month with the news headlines at half 10. <laughs>
deviate other radio straight out of Mojave. The radio station you can't live without. This is your radio. Number one local station. station. We did Again, thank you for tuning in to the Dark Academy Turner Radio News. It is Thursday, the 24th of June 2021. Uh, I'm Amanda Haizu, and here are your headlines this morning. Looking at local news, police question local comedian for possession of ammunition. The Botswana Defense Force says HIV can degrade army readiness. Looking at international news now, Athens Priest arrested for acid attack on bishops and lastly antivirus creator john mcphee found dead in prison cell those were our headlines this morning tune back in at 11 o'clock for our full news and detail
For the views and opinions expressed in this show are those of the authors and do not necessarily reflect the official policy or position of the Dow Academy. Any content provided by bloggers or authors are of their opinion and are not intended to malign any religion, ethnic group, club, organization, company, individual, or anyone or anything. The radio station you can't live without. This is your radio. This is Beauty Blackout, the show where we help you own your glow. Catch me Monday to Friday from 10 to 11 with me, Demi Max, as your host and my co-host, Steve. So, welcome back. Hi. We were talking about self-reflection and we are broadcasting live from TGA campus in the primary right? one yes <laughs> if you have a question related to the matter we're talking about send that to seven five three four one three four seven say it again seven five three four one three four seven right do you know that number by head yes seven five one three yeah no i don't seven five three, oh, four, oh three, i four, saw that i saw that what i didn't even all it i i have really bad eyes so i can't i don't even see the seven wow Flex, okay. i believe you <laughs> okay before the break we were talking about what self-reflection Emma. right now i am going to speak on why you should self-reflect mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. so if oh if so if reflection is so <laughs> helpful why don't many leaders do it right leaders often don't understand the process many leaders don't know how to self-reflect one executive i work with this is an article i'm reading okay he shared recently that he had yet not met his commitment to spend an hour on saturday mornings reflecting to help him get over this period i suggested he take the next 30 minutes or of our two hour session and just quietly reflect and then we would debrief it after five minutes of silence he said i guess i don't really know what you want me to do maybe that's why i haven't been doing it don't secondly they don't like the process reflection requires leaders to do a number of things they typically don't like to do slow down adopt your mindset of not knowing and curiosity tolerate messiness and insufficiency inefficiency and take personal responsibility the process can lead to valuable insights and even breakthroughs it can also lead to feelings of discomfort vulnerability defensiveness and irritation yeah this is true Mm -hmm. especially if you have a huge ego oh <laughs> have a huge ego but it's true like i'm one person who doesn't like being told but it's not like that you know don't do it like that You're wrong <laughs> what? In this way. but yes but it's true but when it comes from you and you understanding that you're doing something wrong mm. and you need to change your habits i feel like it has a bigger influence rather than when somebody tells you something right that this habit is disturbing you in this way but when it comes from you you make a choice to change it Mm -hmm. right it's easier when you a you won't really do much action towards it right Mm -hmm. how well do you take feedback just be honest not quite well but i you know the thing is I don't like feedback, but it's some. If somebody doesn't like what you're doing, obviously you have to change it, right? It actually depends. No, it depends. Yeah, it depends. But when I want to feedback, you don't worry. Mutu haku bolo la kuri. Sister, this one, two, three. Are we listening? The mirror and all two are not like kids. Hey, but then because it's coming from that person or an external person you may feel as if why are you telling me this i already know you know damn that was harsh no. 
Or you you won't say it out loud. No. Oh. Okay. Yeah. I understand. Well take feedback. That's one thing I'm trying to work on. Mm. How I take feedback. Yes. Mm. I forgot what happened this week. I forgot, but then I, I I remember I know what I know is that the, like a few events this week where I was practicing like taking. Oh yeah, I got in trouble at home. Oh. I remember. Yeah, I got in trouble at home, and I love how I took it. Mm. You know, I didn't take that. Like, she don't love me. I took it really well. I'm like, okay, so I did this wrong. I need to change mm. this. I did this wrong. Okay. Okay. Cool. So yeah, I was really proud of myself. Yeah. Because of the way I took it, you know, not feeling like she don't love me. I feel like the hardest thing is accepting that you are wrong. <laughs> and yeah sorry we were having some problems technical difficulties there the next point is don't like the results when a leader takes time to reflect she typically sees ways she was effective and as well as things she could have done better most leaders quickly dismiss the noted strength and dislike the noted weaknesses. Some become so defensive in the process that they don't learn anything, so the results are not helpful. Yeah. Yes. Mm. So you should you should be able to like you should be able to depict or to what? Note down your mm-hmm. weaknesses, right? To scrutinize your weaknesses i don't know did i even use that word correctly but anyway wow (laughs) have a bias towards action have a bias towards action like soccer goalies many leaders have a bias towards action a study of professional soccer goalies defending penalty kicks found that goalies who stay in the center of a goal instead of lunging left or right, have 33% chance of stopping the goal. And yet these goalies only stay in the center 6% of the time. The goalies just feel better when they do something. The same is true of many leaders. Reflection can feel like staying in the center of the goal and missing the head kick. Mm-hmm. Oh, yes. Okay. Mm. So after you have found out or researched or noted down your weaknesses, you should take action towards those weaknesses, right? Mm -hmm. If you have found yourself making these same excuses, you can become more reflective by practicing a few steps. (coughs) Excuse me. Mm -hmm. Identify some important questions, but don't answer them yet. Here are some possibilities. What are you avoiding? What are, how are you helping your colleagues achieve their goals? How are you not helping or even hindering the process? How might you be contributing? How might you, how might you be contributing to your least enjoyable relationship at work? How could you have been more effective in a recent meeting? Select a reflection process that matches your preferences. Many people reflect through journaling, like you were saying, mm-hmm. right? If that sounds terrible, but... I love the way you say journaling. <laughs> journaling? 
journaling. Wait. <laughs> okay, oh, thank you. <laughs> if that sounds terrible, but talking to a colleague sounds better, consider that as long as you are reflecting and not just chatting about the latest sporting event or compla- complaining about a colleague, your approach is up to you. Hmm. You can sit, walk, bike, or stand alone or with a partner, writing, talking, or thinking. Schedule time. Most leaders are driven by their calendars, so schedule your reflection time, then commit to it. Like you can do that in the morning or Mm -hmm. in the evening, right? And if you find yourself trying to sleep or avoid it, oh, reflect on that. Mm -hmm. Okay, all right. Start small. If an hour of reflection seems like too much, try 10 minutes and have, oh, yes, try 10 minutes, right? Start small, I guess. Do it. Go back to your list of questions and explore them. Be still, think, consider multiple perspectives. Look at the opposite of what you initially believe. Brainstorm. You don't have to like or agree with all your thoughts. Just think to examine, right? Mm. I guess. Mm. 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 And lastly, ask for help. Something yeah, please. Like ask yeah. for help. Is it easy for you to express your feelings? I feel like I've asked you this before, but I just don't get how people can just do it. Depends. Oh, I and I'm not like that. Okay. Unfortunately, it depends on who you are. Yeah, it depends on who you are, whom I am confiding. It depends me on who you are. What I didn't say, you that. Did. I said it depends on who you are. Yeah, no, we'll listen to the stream. Oh, okay, that's fine. <laughs> depends, right? Mm-hmm. If we're close, then yeah, probably. I, I, not, I, I, I'm gonna tell you it out. Mm-hmm. You. Oh no, I don't. I don't. If it's not easy, it's opening not easy, up. But yeah. you are. Let me see. Let me see. Hmm. Well, I would say you're straightforward. No, I'm not. What do you mean? Like you, if you don't like something, you say it. So you, yeah, you are silly. No, I'm not. Yeah. What, do, what you do you mean? As in expressing your feelings. Expressing your feelings. Being being able to say you don't like something. Being able to say that you're yeah, going through this yeah, you are, you, no you. <laughs> no i don't okay maybe maybe you think you don't because of certain things you haven't said no the thing about me is that like i do have times when i reach my breaking point mm-hmm. you get it? but not it's not easy to just say oh okay. communicate like that you understand yes. or even say you know i'm going through this i'm going through that even when like yeah Mm. So yes. <laughs> you went like what? Yeah, yeah. So so yeah, that's what I wanted to say. <laughs> okay. Mm. okay. Mm-hmm. So that was it on self reflection. Mm-hmm. I feel like we should oh like may almost to be like in a kind of self awareness. Yes. Let me just check what it is. Self awareness. Self awareness is the ability to focus on yourself and your actions, thoughts, emotions or don't align with your internal standards if you are highly self-aware you can objectively evaluate yourself manage your emotions align your behavior with your values and understand correctly how others perceive you hmm okay can i ask you a question sure do you care about the opinions of others not anymore not anymore but i used to like back you i used to that's another thing that i've I've been looking at these things these this week surprisingly that's that's another thing that i nah i don't i don't so yeah yeah that's a good thing it is it feels good too because you feel free and able to do what you want Free, yes. yes, that is true. You feel free. Mm. Mm. So that was it from us, me and Slee. 
we were broadcasting live from, we are broadcasting we live are. from TDA Taylor Radio. Taylor Radio. This is in the like primary us. campus. Botswana, mm -hmm. <laughs> Africa, planet <laughs> Earth. Yes. yes. Thank you so much, guys. We'll see you tomorrow from 10 to 11, same time, same place. Amanda will be here at 11 o'clock for the full news in detail. Thank you. Bye.